Oh, this is lovely service. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. There, there are these back to back. Um, I'm good. I think we're good. Okay. Do you want A1 sauce? No. Okay. To help. Attention, big Texan. We got Jane all the way from Mississippi trying to 72. He's got one hour to eat 72 ounces of beef, baked potatoes, salad, roll, and three shrimp. Come up here and take as many pictures as you like, but please stay off the stage. Let's give him a round of applause. Look, there's barf. <laughs> Look, there's barf can. Uh -huh. This guy's doing pretty well. Oh my goodness. Wow. He's almost done. Yes, 33 minutes off. Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. Good morning. We are here at Big Texan RV Ranch in Amarillo, Texas. We have a 50 amp full hookups. And it's quite nice. At during the daytime, though, the middle of the afternoon, it does get blazing hot. Today is July 14th, and there is no shade here. There's a little bit of shade that we get from this tree, but that's by six o'clock in the evening, so it doesn't really help out that much. But again, it's a lovely park. It's perfectly level, left, right which is really nice. Okay, we are near the freeway, but we did not hear any freeway noise at all. Today I'm gonna to be doing laundry, so I'm gonna walk over to the clubhouse area to see where the actual laundry room is. Okay, the other thing that I do like about this park is that I called them in advance to ask their permission if I can receive Amazon packages here, and they said yes. So we can receive mail here. Granted, I did call them. So I don't know whether you can just send packages here. But as a common courtesy, I would go ahead and call them first to tell them that you're going to receive a package, even though it's you're three, four days out. And that's what I did. And they held the package for us. So when we checked in, it was already here. Very nice. The building behind me, which is attached to the laundry area and clubhouse, there is an indoor pool, which is open right now. But I don't do indoor pool. I don't do pools, public pools. They're essentially big petri dishes that people pee in. So showers, restrooms, didn't really check it out. Out of viewers say too many bathrooms, stop with the bathrooms. So we're stopping the bathrooms. I'm just gonna tell you that they have showers, bathrooms, and an indoor pool. Washers, they're 250 a load. And the dryers are, doesn't say, $1.50. Doesn't say how long. Oh, there it is. Washer runs for 30, dryer for 45. Right, this is where you check in. This is where the lovely ladies check you in. They're so nice. <laughs> they have a little gift shop. And the pool is right through there. Ooh, humid in here. Oh yes, this was very nice last night. Last night this was very nice, very handy. They have a free limo pickup for the Big Texan. Okay, would I stay here again at Big Texan RV Ranch? Yes, I would. Okay, I'm on to the next RV park. We're here in Memphis, Brick Road, Old Town. Very, everything is, is essentially very depressed. I, this town, look at this, closed storefront. Most of the storefronts are closed. But this is where we're gonna have lunch. Memphis, Texas, Bistro Coffee House. Look how adorable this place is, oh my god. God, what's this? Home fragrances. Home fragrances. Walter with John Wayne. Oh, the 
not great. Which I'm having. I don't even remember. Roast beef sandwich. Roast beef and Walter's having an Italian sandwich. Bistro Cafe. The cottage. The cottage. Right off Highway 278 in Memphis. Memphis. Texas. Texas. Great food. Worth the stop. Fabulous service. Here we are at Rocking A RV Park in Vernon, Texas. It's a little bit below the Oklahoma-Texas border. We are still on our way to Galveston. Uh, we have 50 amps. We'll hook up. We were here only for one evening. The park is really, it's cute. It's not that big. Uh, Walmart is across that fence. And there is a way to get across the fence into Walmart, right there. And the freeway is right over there. We did not hear any freeway noise because we had both air conditioners going. It's about a hundred, yesterday was a hundred and nine here. So we've been traveling in a hundred plus degrees since we've lost since we've left Las Vegas. So, I like this park. They gave us a tree. So at about five o'clock yesterday afternoon, there was shade in part of Wanda. Very nice. I like the, the owners of this park. They're really nice. Walk you over to their facilities. You do need a, a code to get into the laundry area and the bathrooms and showers, but we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you where it is and show you the front of the place. Oh, and the other thing also, it's there is no trash whatsoever <laughs> in this RV park. It's wonderful and the site was perfectly leveled so we didn't have to level left and right and we did not unhitch since we were only here for one evening the a-frame is the lobby here is an a-class it's humongous and then they have a trailer I guess they couldn't leave their yarn yarn stash behind would we stay here at Rocking ARV Park again in Vernon? The answer would be a yes. Alright, that kind of wraps up our trek through mid-Texas. Uh, the next couple of parks is going to be a thousand trails. And I'll give you what my impressions of those parks will be. This will be our first time staying at a thousand trails. Right, thanks again for watching. Bye.